and welcome back to my channel so for today I will be doing another product review and this one I've been using for a long time already but I want to show you why I like it this is the makeup forever matte velvet skin this is a 12 hour wear foundation and it's powder so inside this is what it looks like and uh, this is in Y225 so if we open it we have this as a mirror, your, your powder foundation, and the sponge. That's a bit messy. I'm very sorry about that. So uh, with the sponge, it has two sides. This is for the full coverage, and this is for the medium coverage. So let's get to it. I will show you why I like it. It has a, it, as it says, it has a blur. It's a blurring powder foundation. Okay, so I will put it first on uh, this side of my skin. Yeah, see? As you can see, this is like very light on my skin. This is already my third purchase. The first purchases I bought was um, uh, in two darker shades because um, at the end of the day I my face looks like way darker than it should be because maybe this foundation oxidizes and so I bought a lighter one so if it does oxidize it won't look too bad or too dark on my skin at the end of the day it's very easy to apply that's why I like it because I wake up like very late in the morning and usually just prepare for 30 minutes there. so this is what it looks like with it and this is what it looks like without big difference huh and it only took me less than a minute to apply it so let's finish the full face looks very white but don't worry because after I apply everything that I need to apply on my face it wouldn't look so white but this is what it looks like with um, using my white sponge okay so I will just finish my face and I'll show you what it looks like in a while So we're back and this is what happens after you finish the whole face. Usually this is my everyday look. I just um, finish my brows to have some blush which is barely noticeable and the most important is my nose line. And for because the, the, the foundation, the powder foundation is very matte, I usually use this which gives me my glowy and healthy looking skin. This is the Avene Thermals Spring Water. So I will just spray it on and then I wait for it to dry up and I will show you what it looks like after. And here it is and as you can see it gives me that dewy glow after I apply. See? And even here. I don't know how it I'll show you <laughs> yes that's what it looks like um i'll be going to work now i'll blow dry my hair and then i'll be back after i finish my work to give you um uh, i'll be showing you what my face looks like after i finish my work after around six hours or eight hours and i'll show you what it looks like by then okay I left the house at around 9 a.m. this morning and it's now almost 5 p.m. So that's like 7 hours 
from the time I applied the powder foundation. I think only my forehead looks uh, a bit darker compared to my um, entire face. And uh, like I said, this powder oxidizes and uh, you just need to blot it and then retouch because you can bring it anytime with you anyway. And as you can see, my forehead is a bit oily, but overall, I think um, the foundation still there. I didn't blot or anything, but I did. I was putting on and off my mask, and probably that would have um, taken off some of the foundation powder. But I think it still looks good. And overall, I really, really like this powder foundation because it's very easy to apply. You can just uh, bring your powder anytime so you can um, retouch at any given moment, at night. And yes, I really love it. And you have, if you have oily face, it's really, really good for you. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you give it a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Bye!